Welcome back to another video, guys. I'm particularly excited about this one because I will be taking a standard circular saw blade and seeing if that'll work as a blade on the string trimmer. I have the Echo SRM225, but if you have a straight shaft that can take a blade, this may work on yours as well. So I'm gonna go through a couple of tips and try this out. I don't know if it's gonna work or not. I do have the standard Echo blade kit that you can get for the Echo SRM225. Comes with a couple flanges. This one has a bevel. It's a 20 millimeter bevel that the blade sits right into to keep everything centered and give it the perfect height so that when everything's put together, you can stick this little cutter pin into a hole to keep the blade and the nut from spinning off, right? So my goal is to be able to use this kit minus the blade that comes with the kit and use a standard circular saw blade instead. Now, a circular saw blade in comparison, let's take a look. The Echo Blade is about seven and three quarters inches. Standard circular saw blade is seven and a quarter. The center hole on the Echo Blade is 20 millimeters or about 13 sixteenths. And the standard size of the hole or the plug on a circular saw is five eighths, but they give you a diamond piece of metal you can pop out, which gives you, guess what? 13 sixteenths, which is about 20 millimeters. So what we're gonna do is you'll see, if I take this, I already popped the diamond piece of metal out and it actually sits right onto our bevel. Now the only difference here is that this blade isn't quite as thick You'll notice the echo blade when it sits down on there barely sticks up on the bevel. When I do the circular saw blade, sticks up just a hair more. I don't think that's gonna be a problem because this flange actually has an inset bevel that sits right over there so we get a snug fit between the blade there. So just some uh, other information about this. I got this one at Home Depot for about five bucks. I did find a Diablo blade that already had a 20 millimeter hole. And this is smaller, this is a five and a half inch. And I figured I would try this as well. This was about $15. So next, what I already did is I took the string head off of the trimmer, put the blade guard on, which gives us a wider, flatter surface to protect us. Be careful as you're doing this. The next thing we're gonna wanna do is set the flange that comes with the blade kit, set the bottom flange down onto our shaft. The next step, and you wanna make sure you get this right, otherwise it's not gonna cut. Make sure that the direction that the teeth spin is correct when you're putting the circular saw blade on. So the way that this spins is, I'm gonna take the original Echo Blade, put that on there, just so I can see which direction the teeth are going. So with the trimmer upside down, they, the trimmer is gonna spin clockwise. So you're gonna take that off, take my circular saw blade and make sure I put that so that when it spins, it spins with the teeth cutting in a clockwise direction. Remember this is with the trimmer upside down because when I trim, it's going to be flipped over like this. Now the next thing we're gonna do is take the top flange, set that right down on there and make sure we've got a snug fit. Everything seems snug, I'm okay with that. Then we're gonna take the nut and set that right on there using 11 16 socket wrench to tighten that down. It doesn't need to be over tightened, snug it up, uh, but what's gonna keep this from vibrating loose is the pin that we put into here. Let me find that pin. So here's the important part. Again, don't try this if you can't do it, but the pin here has to slide into the hole. And in my case, the full hole is exposed. And you can see there, it's able to slide in and I'm gonna bend that around so that this will not come loose. So slide it in, bend it around, and I'll show you the finished product. I bend one wing each direction. Use your needle nose and pinch those together. This is what's gonna save your life or potentially the life of those around you. So let that focus. See what I did with the pin there? extremely important to do. Let's give this a whirl. I'm gonna start it up, make sure it spins. I'm gonna recheck the pin after I spin it for a little bit, make sure that the pin is still there and secure. Everything feels good. 
Then we're going to try to cut something. All right, recheck your pin. Make sure the pin is still there, still good. As you can see, it is. So I'm gonna take this camera over to some wood. Let's just try cutting a log or two. All right, let's talk about this, okay? Okay, 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 okay. So, first things first, it cuts really well. <clears throat> I will say though, that because it's smaller, it's half an inch smaller than the standard Echo Blade, it doesn't stick outside the guard very much. And let me just measure that. It only sticks outside the guard an inch and three quarters. I don't know if I can get this. So from the guard here to the edge of the blade is only an inch and three quarters, which means it's really only good for about an inch and three quarter sapling, unless you work your way around the sapling. So theoretically you could cut down a larger sapling if you did one side first and then went around and did the other side. Uh, could live with that. This blade here, they say not to cut down more than an inch, inch and a half sapling. I've cut down a little bit bigger, but it takes a whack to get it to go through. So that being said, do I think this is better than the standard Echo Blade? I guess it depends on what you're trying to use it for. If you're just cutting raspberry brambles, this is fine. It's gonna cut just a little bit bigger of a swath than the standard circular saw size blade. Is the circular saw blade going to work? Yes, it works. And I'll talk about the five and a half inch blade here. I think what we're gonna find is it's not really gonna stick out at all. And I'll put it on here and show you what it looks like. So take the pin out, I'm gonna use my glove again and take this blade off. And I'll just set the five and a half inch blade on there and see how it looks. Uh, but I'll be honest, I don't think it's going to stick out enough to really give us any sort of cutting power. Take that off. I'm going to put our five and a half inch on there. And I'll, I'm not going to run it, but I'll show you what that looks like. It may be good for pruning trees around but that's what it looks like on there and I'll be honest it really doesn't stick out much let's grab a tape measure check that out it sticks out about three quarters <laughs> maybe seven eighths and so that's really only going to give you again unless you hit it from multiple angles you only get that much cutting width out of this blade I would not go with the five and a half inch blade. It's just not gonna give you any productivity. So in conclusion, I answered both of my questions. One, will a standard circular saw blade even fit on the Echo SRM225? The answer is yes. You just have to take the center diamond out so you get the 20 millimeter hole. Second, does the circular saw blade give you an advantage over 
the normal Echo Blade? And I think in some circumstances, the answer is yes. In others, it may be no. If you're just gonna be cutting raspberry brambles, brush, things like that, stick with the Echo Blade. It's gonna give you another half an inch wider path and it's gonna do just as good of a job. But if you've got some wood mixed in with that or maybe you're pruning your apple trees or cutting other wood material, this is gonna do it faster and smoother than the Echo Blade. Again, be very careful. Don't use it without that cotter pin in there. And be careful, this is nothing to mess with. Um, while it does work on here, it's much more lethal than the stubby blade. So I hope you had fun watching this, as much fun as I had playing around with this and seeing if this works. If I've gotta do some pruning, I'm gonna be sticking this blade on here because that actually cut really well. If you've got questions, throw them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. And be safe out there, guys. It's a crazy world and you don't wanna cut your leg off.